Hey everyone, Steve Goodall. Uh, hopefully by now you've kind of worked out I don't tend to sugarcoat anything and I can say things that generally aren't very popular. So um, carrying on on that theme, I'm going to talk uh, to, I just, I kind of want to break away kind of this, this myth about success. And, you know, if you, if you, 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 you'll see like plenty of things of like, oh, well, failure is a guide to success. And the more times you fail, the better. And, and that's great. And, you know, people post memes. I post memes for things like that. Um, then when you get to somebody trying to sell you a course or, uh, you know, an ebook, it's like, do these steps to succeed. I did this and I made all my mistakes and then I did this and it was a perfect, a perfect scale straight up to success. Um, there was a, a great image and I, I really hope I actually remember to put this in the video of the true path to success. And it's not a straight line. It's not this gradual thing. It's, it's kind of all over the place and squiggly. And it's a, it, it, it's so true. I, I'm one of the things that I always tell any of my clients, um, you know, when they're starting out, because I, I tend to deal with two types of people. I, I, I deal with ones that are in uh, business and have a problem and nine times out of 10, it's they're not making enough money. Um, and then I've got the other uh, type of client who actually haven't started anything, uh, wanting to start, you know, perhaps they're still working at a job or, you know, they, do, they, want, they know they need to do this. And the thing that I try and explain to the newcomers is don't, don't think that, um, and again, this is why, you know, I disagree with so many people, um, don't think the business that you are going to start today is going to be the one that is going to attain to where you need it to go. The chances are it won't. It doesn't mean you should put any less effort in. It doesn't mean you shouldn't still attack it with all the passion that you can you can muster up and go for it. But the true path is is a learning. Well, it's not a learning curve. It's a learning squiggle. Um, it, it it really is this case of you, you go through these peaks and troughs, and you know I. I tell people this because I don't, I want them to know that when it happens, they go, oh yeah, okay, this is a normal thing. And you you, you tend to have this this scale and, and the image that um, Brandon actually posted was just perfect in our Facebook group. And uh, and it, it basically, you start off with this great idea and it's like, this is the best thing since sliced bread. And so, you know, sort of you launch. Uh, and then, then you don't get the kind of response you were hoping, and so you you have this downward trend, and you start questioning yourself, and you go, "Is it? Is it the best thing? Oh, I don't know." Then all of a sudden, you get a bit of an upturn in you know interest or exposure or something like that. Bang! Oh my God, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I'm really good at this. And then you have another downturn because then you find out that you know I don't know. Perhaps you get some angry customers or just you know just something, and you 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 have this going on all the time. That's when you're just dealing with one business, and then then you uh, then you have other issues like maybe the business itself simply doesn't work. I mean, yeah, it's it happens. Uh, remember all the memes? <laughs> oh, failure is great because it gets you to success. It, it is true, um, but it's not this like, you know, kind of, you know, sort of linear line that, that just runs smoothly. It, it really is up and down. You deal with self-doubt. You deal with worrying whether or not, um, you know, sort of, you know, uh, they call it imposter syndrome, uh, which I thought was a strong term for it, but but you do, you you start to think, oh, maybe maybe I can't do this. Maybe there's people out there better than me. And right now I'm working with uh, a client and um, that's exactly the problem he's going through right now. He's like, I, I don't know if I can do this. And I was like, dude, of course you can do it. Look, you've already done it. And he's already, he's already, you know, sort of done this a number of times, but he's having that, that weird, that, that, that trough moment is happening for him currently. You know, so he's, and he's trying to expand and, and the, well, not expand, actually grow the business. And there's the problem because, you know, all of a sudden you get these doubts and you think, oh, okay. And it, it, like I said, it is just a case of, I don't, you know, I don't want people to think that it's, it's this, this great thing you, you hit upon. If you listen to anybody trying to sell you stuff, this is, you know, they're going to tell you, do what I do. And I, 
I, I did this and I made all this money and, or, I, or I, made the, I got this amount of freedom in my time and I only work an hour a day or whatever. Th th those lines don't really exist. I mean, it happens sometimes. You can hit upon something golden. Um, and even the people selling you that will actually say, oh, I made these mistakes and then I figured it out and this is the thing that works for me. And this is why in another video, I'm gonna talk a bit more about courses and eBooks. Again, uh, uh, I won't receive a lot of love for my opinions on them. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just need people to realize that it's okay. You're going to have, you're going to have really crappy days sometimes and that's okay. It's, we all have them. And this isn't, you know, this isn't a meme now telling you this. This is, I've been uh, uh, building businesses, selling businesses, helping other businesses for like 25 years now. And we all go through it. We have these terrible days where, you know, maybe maybe the marketing you were using suddenly stops working. Uh, you know, I'm working with someone currently, that's their issue. Uh, the market that they've used for sort of the last 10 years, the marketing channels they've used simply are not effective anymore. And the type of clients they're getting from those channels are very low quality, they're problematic. So right now we're exploring new channels, but you know, they're in that dip. They're in that, that oh, now, you know, if I explain to other people, you know, sort of what that dip uh, means in terms of money, uh, most people are going to go, why the heck are they worrying? That's still incredible what they're doing. But to them, you know, they, they, you know, they were used with this, you know, this kind of success gradient. And of course, you get these ups and downs. So when you're starting out on a business, uh, it's, you're going to have bad days. Don't worry about it. Just plod through because... And, you know, I know this sounds a bit, you know, sort of gimmicky, but you kind of need the bad days to really appreciate the good days. There'll be days where you will just absolutely kill it. And, you, you know, you're, you're, I don't know, it'll be like lunchtime. You'll be, you, you will feel on top of the world. And, and you're just like, man, this is great. And everything's going great. And two days later, you can feel like it was the worst decision of your life. My advice to all of that is to just, keep plodding through, push through it all, because those bad days, believe me, do not outnumber the good days. It really doesn't. The longer you do this, and I've been doing it for 25 years, and I can remember a lot of good times. I mean, I remember the bad times as well, um, but the, the good times always make up for it. So uh, I'm interested to see uh, what comments you've got. And, you know, if you're thinking of starting a business or uh, you, you already have a business running and, you know, you, there's some things you want to try and improve and so forth, uh, there's a Facebook group, uh, which I should put round about here somewhere on the video. And uh, go in and join it. And uh, I'll see you in there and I'll see you next time.